I didn't know this technique uh, even existed. I found out uh, about it by pure accident and then I googled it. I know it does exist, but it's not very common, it's not very well known and it's super easy. Hi you guys, it's Asha Marke here, Lemon Creation, and here we go, the technique I came up by pure accident. So, uh, when I was doing orders in my shop, I have to glue the uh, stamps to the envelopes in the very traditional method. So there is a stick of glue, just a simple one like this one I'm using right now, and a piece of uh, paper and a stamp. So I'm putting the stamp uh, upside down on the piece of paper to not make dirty my uh, desk. And then uh, I'm using the stick, so I always get a little bit of glue which goes on the paper, on the scrap paper. And then when this glue was dry, I kept the paper to use it as a scrap paper for other projects. And by pure accident, I did something else. <laughs> You're gonna see in a few minutes. Uh, and I just love the effect I got. And this is the very first page with this technique. So basically what I've done, I used my uh, stick, my glue stick, and I made some kind of random lines and then I dry it out. Uh, because I'm impatient, I used the heat gun, of course. And uh, what's happened with my scrap paper when I was doing the stamps is that later I used it for, uh, you know, some kind of uh, other projects when I was using distress oxides. No, not even distress oxides, some kind of other inks. And what's happened is I just used this paper to try the inks and then I've seen the resist effect with the glue. It's just magical, I really love. And it's so much different than the normal resist technique when you use, for example, a gesso or uh, embossing powders. And uh, I told you that I'm gonna share with you. As I mentioned later, I googled it and I know that some people are, some artists are using this technique and it's known to some of us. I uh, spend the years <laughs> doing what I do and I haven't had any clue about this technique so I'm hoping some of you do not know it and some of you are gonna be happy with this thing so as you can see right now I'm so sorry I'm a little off screen I was doing this project uh, very quickly just before I left for uh, my holidays at my mom's and I just I was I think tired and uh, I didn't pay too much attention. I apologize for that once again, but now I should be well into in the screen, but um, You could see um, at the very beginning when I add the first distress oxides uh, the lines I've made with the glue stick and I have to tell you I have two projects with this technique That's the first one and the next video I'm gonna post uh, in a few days time I think two three days time it's gonna be with the second project I made with the same technique and it's so much better the second one actually Because you can see the resist effect way much better What I've done here and what it was my mistake I think for this technique you'd rather or I'd rather use uh, darker uh, um, Darker ah, oh, what's the word inks? because I think it's more visible if you use darker inks. On top of that, I add a lot of splatters of water because those are distress oxides. So, you know, if you don't add water to them, it's kind of a waste <laughs> because they get such a beautiful effect. But all of these splatters and all of these kind of bright colors, pastel colors, um, they kind of made that the glue resists, the lines I've made, the, you know, the wobbly lines and all of that, at the very beginning it kind of disappeared so uh, I love the page and if you want to come back a few moments earlier you're gonna see that there was really this resist uh, technique it was really visible but as I mentioned this page uh, really turned out very nicely at the end I really like uh, but the resist technique is not as visible as it's gonna be visible on my second project which is gonna uh, come up very soon i think probably wednesday or um, yes i'd say probably wednesday so just have a look at it uh, when it's uh, coming out and you're gonna see how beautifully it could be really done with the glue uh, and i guess you know you can use different types of glue uh, of glue uh, I know there are also glue pens, which gives me an idea of maybe drawing something with a glue pen and trying to use it like an Arabic gum of sorts or, or just, uh, I don't know, embossing powder of sorts. 
making resist uh, technique this way. So I think it's uh, gonna go uh, really nice. I think I'm gonna really enjoy this technique. It's so cool. Uh, the effects I got on this piece of scrap paper, unfortunately, it's just a piece of very, very, very tiny scrap paper, were amazing. Uh, I mean, the effects, but the whole page didn't look very nice, but you know, because I put two, uh, I put very uh, different type of inks, which don't really go together very well. Uh, but otherwise, um, and the scrap paper I use for the stamps and for my orders uh, really turned out great and gave me a really nice idea. And yes, if you look closely here, you can see the lines I made with the uh, glue stick. Otherwise, uh, the page looks uh, really so beautiful with the distress of sights. Uh, I mean, you can get such a beautiful effect with them. And I don't even pay too much attention if the colors go too, um, if the colors go really well together because. Well, you have to pay a little bit of attention, but otherwise you can actually, with distress oxides, you can apply them and then uh, remove some of them with the water, so it looks so nice. I'm really in love with, uh, with those two pages, uh, and I'm not sure which one I love uh, the most. So, as I mentioned, this is the first one, and the second one, it's gonna be up on my channel in a few days' time. I promise you guys. I'm gonna be back from my mom's. Um, uh, my holidays are almost finished. So, uh, yes, I'm gonna take care of that and to be sure that uh, it's uh, there on my uh, YouTube channel. And also, I did a tiny bit of stamping with Memento London Fog um, ink. As you can see, the top uh, ink or the top, top part of the stamp I uh, stamped a loop sided. That's why I'm not a big fan of the rubber stamps, even though they are so nice to actually make a nice impression. but. Unfortunately, I don't see exactly where the lines go, and I didn't like it so much. I'm trying to, as you can see, uh, remove a little bit of this ink with the uh, wet tissue. So, you know, and also with the brush, so it's uh, not that visible. And because it actually, uh, uh, I'm not very happy with the fact that it's so lopsided. Other than that, I'm using the stamp from uh, Paper Heart C. I love. Um, there's stamps, uh, they do rubber stamps uh, only, but yes, uh, and even though I cannot really see when I'm stamping them, uh, usually when I'm using acrylic block, uh, block, I don't have any problems with that, so you know, so it's a problem only when you are stamping freehand. And this is the paper element from um, Alchemy of Art, it's a Polish shop which has a really nice uh, papers, so um, I try uh, them out, I try to give you a link at least to uh, the Facebook page or Instagram page in the description box below and as always in the description box below you're gonna find a list of all the products I use for this uh, for this project I hope I'm gonna manage to to upload it and to um, give it to you guys and this is a piece of um, handmade paper I've got in a happy mail I got from Australia from one of my Mm, uh, long time uh, follower um, she's such a beautiful uh, such a kind lady and she sent me a um, happy mail one of those days like a few months ago and I'm so grateful and from time to time I'm using her um, bits and pieces from her happy mail and I'm um, doing the uh, art with it and this paper I really love also and I was not sure because I'm not so much into collaging well, I do it from time to time, but uh, I am getting sometimes lost with collaging and I'm not sure what to put where, but I decided to kind of ground this um, elephant and add a little bit of uh, ground under its feet. And I glue uh, the paper with the stick, so the stick is the hero of this, um, the main character of this video. <laughs> and then before the glue was dry, I kind of, um, I don't know how to call it, roll the top part of the uh, paper to uh, add a little bit of relief relief not relief <laughs> and i'm using uh, clipping stickers from tim holtz and they are usually uh, usually lately oh, one of my favorite stickers so here it is guys it looks really beautiful i love this page i truly love this page but i am wondering if you're gonna like the second one and uh, as always let me know in the comments what do you think I'm sending you big, big hugs. 
and I hope I'm gonna see you in my next video and of course thank you so much for subscribing hitting the notification bell button and of course as always visiting my shop your support means so much to me you have no idea so thank you so much for watching for sharing this video and see you soon have a great holidays or have a great week bye bye